Okay, so the first show that I would watch on Nickelodeon that I absolutely loved was Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh, come on, like this is the Zillennial TV show on Nickelodeon. It was amazing. I loved the theme song. I loved the brothers dynamic. I loved the little Megan, you know, and it was just such a great show. It was funny, like the family dynamic, and it was just like a goofy, funny, cool show. I remember an iconic line that Josh said where Megan had put like a bucket for a prank under their door and he was like, why is there a bucket under the door frame? And then Megan was like, why is that your door frame above my bucket? Right? It was like something like that. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. I thought it was so cool and clever at the time. I mean, it still is. And I also remember being obsessed with Drake and Josh's room. I love that little elevated area where Drake had his bed with the ladder. I always thought that was so cool to have that like platform bed and I always wanted one myself. The next show is obviously Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Ned, Moe's, and I forgot the third guy's name. What was his name? Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. So it was Ned, Moe's, and Cookie. And I remember the bowl cut guy. And that was always really funny to me because I was like, oh, why does he have like a coconut head haircut? And I remember this was just such a fun show. I loved how they had the like graphics, like a list check off. I loved how Ned was actually talking to camera. Like it was his like survival guide to school. So this was a really good, like, it was just like a fun show that showed like high school and the dynamics of having like your close friends, but not necessarily getting along with everyone in school. The third show, Zoe 101. I love Zoe 101. I even have a short on Zoe 101 on how much I loved Zoe 101. I actually ended up finding out what the actual school is that they had the set on for the show. And it was Pepperdine and I ended up actually applying to the school because of it. Well, for other reasons as well, but I ultimately ended up not going or other reasons, but I just was obsessed with that show. I loved the beach vibe. I loved the blicks, the mopeds. It was just awesome. I always wanted one of those necklaces that Zoe had with the key and it was like bedazzled. I always thought that was so cool. And I remember it was always like, Chase and Zoe, Chase and Zoe, are they gonna end up together? And I think they did like this little like reboot thing on YouTube or I don't remember if Nickelodeon came out with it where it was kind of like a Chase got closure about Zoe and Zoe was finally saying like they could be together or I don't know but I, I was like really excited about that because I'm like yes some closure and I also always wanted to know what was in the time capsule and what Zoe said about Chase they always teased us with that I was really sad when the show ended because of everything that went on with um, Jamie Lynn Spears who played Zoe but overall it was a great show I love the theme song anytime I would hear the ooh 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 I'm just another kind of girl and you wanna see my world today let's just get away yeah okay yeah <laughs> I love that show I, I think Zoe 101 and Drake and Josh were my all-time favorite TV shows on Nickelodeon I also had favorite cartoons but that is separate from the show. Fourth show, The Naked Brothers Band. I actually thought The Naked Brothers Band was an, it was like an interesting show. It wasn't like my top favorite ones, but I think again, I just like the brother dynamic with Nat and Alex Wolf. And it was just interesting and relatable, especially while we're like growing up as well and you also naturally always tend to pick like who you like or who you have a crush on so i don't know why even if you don't really have a crush on them but you just kind of pick and i always liked nat and i was actually really happy to see him he was in this movie that i actually really like and i hadn't even heard about him since like the naked brothers band so i found it so the movie was a 2012 movie and it's called stuck in love um, Nat Wolf is in it. I highly recommend for you to watch it if there's a movie that you want to watch. It's a great movie 
I think there's it follows different characters in their lives, both like middle aged as well as teenagers, and I think it's just like such a great movie. So you should watch it. The next show, I'll let its theme song do its introduction for you. But just a snippet. So it's time for the Romeo show. Holla, Romeo. The Romeo show! So this was the Romeo show and it featured Little Romeo. And I liked this because it was like very like hip hoppy and I thought it was like cool to have on Nickelodeon. It was something that was a little bit more different. It just seemed a little bit more real, authentic, adult, kinda. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because Romeo, little Romeo was playing himself in the show. So I thought that was like really cool and fun to watch too. I, I feel like they were all really cool and fun to watch, to be honest. So I have to say that about all of them, but there's specific things that stand out about each. Like this one was for sure the intro. Like this intro was a banger. Like I, I mean, anytime this like this would come on, I'd be like, oh, it's a Romeo show time. Like this song is like better than half the rap songs and hip hop songs that are produced nowadays. <laughs> Uh, hot take. <laughs> Last but not least, I guess Megan got tired of being the little sister of Drake and Josh, so she started her own show called iCarly with Miranda Cosgrove, Jeanette McCurdy, and this was a good show too. I would say, so this is Zillennial, but it could be kind of Gen Z-ish. I'm not too sure, but this was definitely like when we were in middle school, early high school, so we could definitely relate to it. A lot of the themes were similar to what we were going through as well. And that like best friend love triangle dynamic with Sam, Freddie, and Carly. That is actually kind of something that I feel like some of us can relate to as well, especially in like high school, middle school and all of that. I liked how there was the, the pair phone, which was obviously an iPhone. It was kind of like a vlogging type of style, like the show that I Carly show that they filmed. So I actually always wanted to try spaghetti tacos because of the show, but I never actually made spaghetti tacos. I just thought it was like, I don't know, but I do remember wanting to try it. I remember I shipped like Carly and Freddie, but then when him and Sam got together, I was like, what? Plot twist. I also think it's funny how when you look back, you realize Emily Ratajkowski did a cameo as Gibby's girlfriend, but at the time she wasn't the Emily Ratajkowski model and everything. Blurred blinds music video girl that we know now and I just thought it was it's just so interesting to see the development of that actress. Hope you enjoyed today's video, a little trip down memory lane discussing my favorite TV shows on Nickelodeon. Let me know what your favorite TV shows were, non-cartoon by the way. I do have cartoon shows that I loved on Nickelodeon as well, but I thought I would keep that separate from this one. So Comment down below, please like and subscribe for more relatable content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!